Okay, third thing I want to introduce to you is bearings. Bearing has to do with direction. So the bearing that a boat has or that an airplane has is talking about the direction it's traveling. And there's two different forms of bearing. We have the nautical used by ships. Uh, this one tends to be the uh, older of the two. And then we have aeronautical, which has to do with flight or planes. And so with nautical bearing, nautical bearing has to do with the direction that a boat is traveling. And the way the direction is determined has to do with a north-south. So north-south. And then an angle. And then an east-west. And so we might say that a boat traveling uh, this direction, let me put a, so if we had an axis on here, if a boat was traveling this direction, and from the way we describe it in an angle and standard position, if say this was 50 degrees, what we would say then is that the boat is traveling uh, in nautical terms, we would say that the, we would find this angle right here relative to the north, this is 40 degrees, and we would say that this boat is traveling north because it's north up here, and then we'd say it's 40 degrees, and then the direction off of north, which in this case is east, and we'd say that this boat is traveling north 40 degrees east. Uh, another example might look like this, maybe the boat's over here, and if I found this angle to be uh, 100, or let's say it's 200 degrees. Then what I would say is that this boat is traveling south because it's going south. And then from the south, we need to find this angle, which if this is 200 degrees and we know this is 270, this would be 70 degrees. And we'd say it's south, 70 degrees west. That would be the direction that's traveling. So when you're dealing with nautical direction, we use a north-south angle east-west. And you'll always start with the north-south. So if the boat's going towards the north, you would use north. If it's going towards the south, you'd use south. And then from that north to south, you determine, oh, it's going east or it's going west from there. And what we want is that angle. So in general, you would say, I want this angle here, 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 or here. Any one of those angles would be the angle we would use for our bearing. So this would be north and east. This would be north and west, south and east, south and west. I hope you guys can see that okay. I think if you enlarge it, you can see okay. All right, that's kind of the basics of the nautical. The book covers it also. Uh, now the aeronautical, a little easier to work with. Uh, just like when we used angles uh, with the minutes, degrees, degree, minutes, seconds, and we, you know, the nautical for many, many, many hundreds of years, they would use that degree, minutes, seconds. Well, we found that a little harder to use now in our digital age when we can use decimals so much easier. And the aeronautical, though it's not about decimals, a lot easier to work with. Aeronautical just starts with the north and goes in a clockwise direction. And so this is zero degrees. Over here, not aeronautically, we would say this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, this is 270 degrees, and then we go back up to where it would be 360, but we'll never use 360, we just go back up to zero. So if I look at the angle that I had over here, where we said this was 50 degrees, well, as far as aeronautical goes, that 50 degrees is a 40 degree angle aeronautically. And we, the pilot would just say, I'm flying at a bearing of 40 degrees. Um, if they were down here, where we said this was 200 degrees, well, we're not gonna use 200, oh, it's a slop, isn't it? Let me uh, start over with that 200. So if we said, here's my 200 degree angle, well, I wouldn't say that he's flying and an angle, uh, a direction that's 200 degrees, again, if this is zero, 
this would be 90, this is 180, this is 270, and this was 20 degrees below that, so this pilot would actually be flying at a bearing of 250 degrees. So they're, they're similar in that they both use angles, but very different in the way that you describe it. Again, nautical use a north-south angle from the north-south going east or west. For the aeronautical, we just start up here at zero and go in a clockwise direction. Now, the aeronautical, it's easy to confuse with our standard position. So we have to remember standard positions, direction is this way is positive, but aeronautical starts up here and goes this way. All right, hopefully that's enough to introduce it without killing it. Um, and uh, so we'll see how it goes for you.